life-threatening cold season that we got to get through. But the Salvation Army of Decatur doesn't have enough money for a program to keep people who are homeless out of the snow and cold. Their cots helped 100 men last year who had nowhere to sleep. Yeah, now they're asking for the community support to keep them off the streets. WCI 3's Jamie Mays is here. So, Jamie, how important is it for them to get this money? Their program helps about 15 men each night escape extremely low temperatures. And the colder it gets, the more homeless men who may need a place to sleep. The Salvation Army of Decatur's Cold Cots program helps those who have nowhere else to go. Cold Cot program is to save lives. That program is open to get men off the street during dangerous, life-threatening temperatures. But there isn't enough money to keep it running through the winter. It starts once temperatures get to 35 degrees or below for five days in a row. There were times last year when we got so full, I was putting cots in the hallways. This winter, they opened a bit earlier than usual. That early start didn't help their bank account. There's just enough money to last until the end of February. Now we've got this, this extreme cold coming and we want to ensure that the funds are there so that we can keep this open, not just the rest of this winter, but each and every winter. It's that important. During the summers, they try to raise about $25,000 from businesses, corporations, and grants, but they didn't meet that goal. When the money's not in the account, they have to make some tough decisions. We will use funds from other programs. When you start pulling from other programs, you know, then those programs are suffering. So they're having a fundraiser to raise the money and get more of the community support to help the in need. We take for granted that we sleep in a warm house every night, that we have a meal in front of us. That's not the case for everybody. Staff said this is a problem they face many years, but the shelter has to run so they can help save lives. There's a fundraiser tomorrow. We will have more information about how you can help on our website. Back to you, Paul. Yeah, hopefully people do check out our website so they can help with that fundraiser and the Salvation Army get some money they need. Jamie, thanks.